Hey, what's up you guys? Mark70 coming at you guys with another Lucky Figure review. Today we're looking at the Black Series Star Wars Boba Fett. This is from the Book of Boba, but honestly I think it looks more like the uh, representation we got from uh, The Mandalorian Season 2. Uh, at least towards the end if you're caught up with that. Um, you kind of have an idea of where I'm coming from. Anyways, this is my first Black Series uh, review. Uh, it's not my first Black Series figure ever. I've got plenty of Black Series figures, uh, but it's the first one that I found in the theme of my reviews, which is the Lucky figure. Anyways, uh, I got this figure for 22 bucks after a few uh, points that I was able to uh, store up at a FYE. If you uh, have those in your area, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, as you can see, I got the figure it was on sale for. $24.88. Regular price for this guy is a ridiculous uh, 50 bucks. Um, I know sometimes uh, they overprice th certain things, so you know it's not too uh, strange to see something that much, but I have seen this figure going around for around $50 to $40, $45. So it is a pretty pricey figure, and it's honestly, um, I don't think it's worth that price. So if you can definitely get one of these for a much cheaper price, uh, I I'd say get it, you know, even if it's just for the look. I mean, it's Boba Fett, you know, he's kind of a really cool character in the Star Wars universe, so if you don't have your version of Boba Fett, um, you're probably just not gonna get it at all. Anyways, so quick look at the packaging. So uh, obviously here's the front, big window. It's kind of sad they're gonna be going away from this too. They're going in the way of Black Series with the uh, windowless packaging just to save on plastic and whatnot. Uh, so that's gonna be sad, but at the same time, it's like, I, I kind of get it, kind of don't. Anyways, uh, nice artwork on the side, bottom, big old security tech from the FYE. Magnetic tech. Window, window, nice description on the back, and 4977, that's ridiculous. Oh my God, it's a huge, it's a lot. For a non-import figure, that seems like a lot. I've gotten import figures for around, uh, I got my Midoriya for 50 bucks. Just as a, you know, small, small comparison, but yeah, you know, anyway, uh, that quick description, if you want to go ahead and read it, by all means, go ahead and pause it, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and open up this figure and get to it. Okay, so before I move on, there's one thing I wanted to take a look at really quickly because this is the last Boba Fett figure that I, well, not the last, but this is the most recent Boba Fett figure that was released, at least in this scale, and also one that I managed to pick up. Now, I found this guy for around, I want to say around $35 when he came out. He was brand new or so. I was able to pick him up. I think I picked him up at a Best Buy or something. I was able to find him uh, a while back when he first came out, and I picked him up for around $35, I want to say. Um, but just in terms of like, it's the same character, obviously it is a new version of the character, but this one came with a lot more accessories than the one that we have right now. And mind you, this is still, you know, the deluxe type of figure. So you would expect it to come with a lot more accessories, but unfortunately for whatever reason, it did not. So this Bulba came with a grapple, two, um, jetpack effects or the jetpack though, my bad. I'll fix it in a minute. Uh, a better painted backpack, or at least a, not necessarily better, but a back a jetpack with more paint. Um, and also, I feel like this Boba Fett has way more paint. Uh, a flamethrower blast effect, two blasters, one normal blaster and a battle damage blaster, and I think that's it in terms of accessories. I'm a little confused as to why they didn't, you know, repackage these accessories um, with the new Boba. They would have, that would have, in my eyes, you know, kind of justified the price. I mean, they could have just made this guy a uh, standard release. He didn't have to be a deluxe uh, Boba figure, you know, because this is the deluxe packaging. So it's a bigger box. It's supposed to be, you know, well, anyway, uh, I just don't see the value of this guy being the same price as this guy. So yeah, that's just one thing I had to point out right away. I'll, I'll look at these two a little bit more when I get to the comparisons. But in the meantime, um, let's go ahead and focus on the new Boba Fett and go ahead and review his accessories really quickly. 
Cool. So I was messing around with it for a little bit, off camera anyways, going ahead and testing out articulation, making sure there was nothing wrong with the figure, no damage or anything like that. Uh, crack joints or stuck joints or anything to, uh, for that matter. Uh, anyways, so accessory wise, let's go ahead. We have his standard blaster. This one comes with just about every Bobo. It's a great plastic. Only a painted stock. It's not bad, it looks pretty nice. I don't remember if it's 100% screen accurate, but it's not a bad paint. It's not a bad, uh, well, it's not a bad accessory, honestly. That's painted, nice gunmetal right there on the brown. No texture, unfortunately, it's just brown paint. Let's go ahead with this pistol. Star Wars pistol. Again, with the same brown paint for the handle. Fits in his holster nicely. The jetpack in a solid green plastic. Very little paint, just a few paint details here and there. Also, pretty standard for Boba Fett. Removable uh, rocket. If you did get to see him using the show. These are articulated, so that's nice. They come with uh, portholes in the bottom. So you can use the jetpack effects that came with your other Boba Fett. So if you have the last release, the last Deluxe, or this one's currently available in the Retro card, that same Boba Fett, if you pick that one up, they do fit because it's the same jetpack, just repainted. Well, this one is uh, remolded and less painted because you saw the other one, that had plenty of paint. I mean, I understand and in the, in the current show, his jetpack he simplified his color scheme, but then they still could have added a bit more to it. At least, uh, I think. So I don't know. It seems a little disappointing, unfortunately. But it's just you know comparing it to the last release. The last release felt like so much more compared to this one. Let's take a look at his helmet. Nicely painted. It is, a, you know, the green plastic that we've been seeing. Let's see if I can get some light in there. Anyways. Viewfinder comes down. The rangefinder. For his targeting. That's nice. I like that. And yeah, that's it. He only comes with technically, uh, I want to say four and a half accessories. You know, this one's technically one, but I'll give it a point for that, I guess. So, all right, let's go ahead and reset the camera real quick and take care of Boba Fett and his articulation, his details, and we'll move on from there. Okay, so Boba Fett, a deluxe figure. It's, uh, okay. I wanna say it kind of reaches that deluxe status. It's pretty close. I honestly feel like this one could have been a standard release more than anything. Um, but sure, why not? If you can get it for a good price, it feels a little bit better. I don't feel too cheated. If I would have paid regular price, I probably would have been a little bit more disappointed. But since I paid a little over half price, it's, you know, it feels a little more justified. Uh, so, okay. So, head sculpt, uh, Tamara Morrison, actor who portrays Boba Fett and Jango Fett in the clone movies. Looks pretty decent. I can totally see it. Good likeness. Do you know he's Aquaman's dad? Isn't that cool? Anyways. Okay, so let's move on to the armor. Mandalorian Beskar armor. Nice paint. He's got the uh, Mandalorian sigil. Forgot the name of the beast already. Belt's nice and painted. A nice browns, some gold. The holsters, I think the holster's a separate piece. It's attached to it, yeah. This is paint. This is a separate plastic. The 
browns or paint. And this is the color of the plastic. Nice strap. Solid plastic. Let's take a look at the kneecap real quick. Oof. It's an interesting knee design. That's a separate piece of plastic, separate piece of plastic, joint separate piece of plastic. I believe the boot is actually, oh, separate piece of plastic. The lower part of the boot, that's painted. There's a lot of cut corners here. At least that's what it looks like. Okay, really quickly, I had to get one more light for this. So inside the helmet, there's actually like a shaping cap. That brown piece of plastic, it's basically just designed to keep the helmet, you know, to give the helmet its shape when you put the helmet on. Because the helmet is soft plastic, kind of see squishiness. But that piece inside is a little bit thicker because I can't take it off. glued into place it feels actually I think it feels like the same soft plastic so that's kind of cool helps give the helmet its shape and keep it from sticking to the Boba Fett head anyways just thought I should mention that so, okay so I'm gonna arm up I'm gonna you know fully load up uh, Boba and we'll go ahead and take care of the articulation because that's how you're gonna want to articulate it the most with everything equipped all right I haven't fully equipped and I am a little disappointed, unfortunately, but I'm glad I didn't pay full price because this guy's interesting. Anyways, so let's go ahead. So with the helmet on, I'll get to this in a minute. Let's go ahead and look at the head sculpt. It looks, you know, obviously your left, right. You can kind of look up. Let's see. I was able to get him to look up a little bit right there because the neck is articulated and so is the head kind of pops off a little bit let's take it off so we can take a look a little better so the bottom of the neck is articulated you can see that got a lot of movement without the helmet he can look down and it's popped off Look up, let me see if I can see the joint. I think it's just a double ball peg. Can't necessarily see it right now, but it's got a lot of movement. It's just a little limited. So. It's about as high as you can look up. So you do get some flight out of it. Now, the entire chest area, this is a flexible piece. It's very rubbery, which is why the jetpack falls off so easily. You can see there's a port on the hard plastic inside. This peg is just too short, so it doesn't reach all the way in. And with this piece, it's raised area presses against the soft plastic and doesn't let it plug in any further. It's basically just holding on to the soft plastic. So if you move this too much, it slowly just squeezes out. Now for the torso articulation, it's just a ball joint, straight peg going down, ball joint going up. So you get plenty of twi twist and rotation. So you get some forward crunch, not a lot actually. It's a back crunch. So I'll put that looking up a little bit. It's pretty underwhelming, unfortunately. There we go. Anyways, let's go ahead and move over to the arms. So we get your T pose. 
no problem there. Rotation at the elbow. Single jointed elbow, but you get over 90 degrees, so that's not bad. The gauntlets, at least this one's easier to rotate. Got the blaster on the side right there. It's got the grapple hook up here. No painted detail on the keys, that's unfortunate. And I think this hand is a reuse of Mando. I'll take a look later. Since Mando has the same sculpt on one of his gloves. So that's a reused part, that's unfortunate. Also, if you have the flame effect that came with your other Deluxe Boba, or should I say the more Deluxe Boba, it still fits. So you gotta follow it that way, I'm sorry. You can use the flame effect. Borrow effects from another Boba Fett to make this Boba Fett more deluxe. Fortunate, but oh. At least they reused that piece so you can continue to use other pieces. Now this is a bit of a problem. While bending his arm over 90 degrees, this piece disconnected. I thought it was just, you know, tabbed in, but it was actually glued into place. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Where the paint chipped off, it was actually glue there. So when you have it all the way up, these hoses are connected to the very top of the shoulder. Let's see if we can see that a little better. Right there. They're glued all the way down until here. There's not that much flex. It's flexible plastic, but there's not that much range. They're not long enough. And I went to go look at the other Boba Fett that I showed you earlier. It's the same sculpt. Set this guy down. This piece is the same. gauntlet's a little different. Actually, I think they might be the same gauntlet. This one just has more paint. This piece looks new. So the tubes are the only new piece. Because these tubes were connected much lower to the arm. You see this huge flex right here? It gives you the 90 degree movement, no problem. Also, one more thing. This blaster is much nicer. So much more details in this blaster than in this blaster. The stock itself has this nice pattern on it. It was also very difficult to get this one into the hands because of the way the guard is designed and the grip is designed. You really gotta flex the hand. Oh, no way. Really? Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. The shoulder pad just popped off. I didn't even do too much to it and it already popped off. Hmm. I have to glue it back in because the peg in the port is just too small. That's unfortunate. I think it's the same on this one too. Huh. Hmm, that's pretty disappointing. Two pieces on the same arm popped off on me. So I'll see what I do to fix that. 
once I glue this piece back on, you shouldn't have to worry about it too much since this part doesn't move too much. Oh well, let's keep going. Flex here, this rotates. Can't rotate one uh, full 360 because the attached hoses. So there's that. Uh, we already talked about the torso. Let's go ahead and talk about the leg articulation. So not far out on this side, thigh swivel. Kind of odd choice with the robes, but what can you do about it? Let's go ahead and take a look at the knee. A little over 90 degrees, but that's pretty ugly. Big old hinge. No paint on these little knee cannons. It's just a solid yellow piece of plastic. Get a boot swivel. Which is weird because there's a swivel up here. Ankles go all the way down. You get a little forward. A nice rock. Really good ankle pivot. That's nice. The other side is the same but limited unfortunately because the holster is attached to the top of the belt. So with the gun in, you get about that far out, still get the full swivel, same range of the knee, same rotation of the boot, and the same angle. Anyways. I'm going to have to make some uh, modifications and adjustments to this figure to get it to my liking because uh, I don't think I'm going to end up using it in my Star Wars display. I think I'm just going to toss it in a Fortnite display as a, you know, a background skin because that was honestly my original plan to pick up this one and the, I guess it's the Nomad Boba Fett that comes with a combi stick or what is it, a gaffy stick? I forget the name of the, the stick that the... Uh, the sand people use. I'll probably just add it in the caption that are on top. Uh, so I can have a harvesting tool or stuff for it. Because this is the skin that, this is the boba skin that we got in Fortnite. So, you know, it was nice to be able to put this in multiple displays, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel dynamic enough to keep in my Star Wars display because the Star Wars display is kind of a permanent setup. My Fortnite display is more of a come as you go sort of display I randomly swap out characters in there because well, everything shows up all of a sudden I can basically throw whatever I want in there this one you know I can throw it up there every now and then and I can just put it away when I don't feel like having it because that's pretty you know I am pretty disappointed unfortunately uh, I'm glad I didn't pay full price uh, because with all the flaws that I'm running into it this does not feel like a deluxe figure guys it really doesn't so Anyways, I'm just going to do the quick size comparisons and then I'm going to get to fixing the figure because I need to, I got to make those fixes. Otherwise it's going to annoy me. Okay. So I went ahead and fixed Boba. I go, I went ahead and uh, I re-glued on that armor piece and I just cut off these hoses uh, because uh, the flexibility was getting annoying. Um, I'll probably repair them together with some wire or some you know, something to give it an extension sort of thing uh, when the time comes. Uh, I'm not too worried about that at this point. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Uh, Din Djarin, the Mandalorian himself. Uh, I think the height scaling works pretty well. Uh, earlier I thought this was a reused part, but it actually is a smaller hand. Uh, Mando's hands, his plates are actually wider and his hands are actually bigger um, than uh, Boba Fett's uh, hand. So that is new sculpt. Uh, or maybe it's a reuse from a different character. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else uses those plates I don't recognize them uh, in my collection at least so uh, if you know if this is a reuse part go ahead and let me know in the comment section below and uh, Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the next one DC icons blue beetle Some of my other black series figures so you know Captain Rex another character who's also technically, you know, a boba 
I compared the face sculpts, it's pretty similar, but you know, Rex is a little bit different, apart from the blonde hair. Uh, on my white suit, uh, Boba Fett, I really love this Boba Fett. This Boba Fett's awesome, and the blaster, this is a really nice blaster. I mean, this is cool. This is the blaster from the uh, Deluxe that I just, you know, reviewed, showed off earlier, uh, because this one, uh, this one just feels too, I don't know, this one. I, I, I just don't like it. After looking at this for a little while, this one feels really cheap. Not enough detail, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put that one away. Um, and my uh, comic series, uh, Luke Skywalker. You know, because he's the one who basically threw Boba Fett into the pit. My last review, and of course, the Rebel Tech My Hero Midoriya with his Fortnite blaster. Alright, so final thoughts. It's not terrible. I can definitely say that. Now, is it something to rush out and get? Maybe. I mean, it's not terrible. It's okay for what it is. It does the job. Um, but I will say this, if this is the only Boba Fett you want to get, as in like, you just need one Boba Fett for your display and be done with it, then sure, it's not a terrible choice. Um, but if it's something you actually want to pose around and, you know, make it a center of your display, I'd say look for a better version. Um, also, I'm going to say if you're into modifying and customizing figures, then by all means, definitely track it down for a good price, because that's exactly what I'm going to do for this guy. Um, I'm going to make modifications to the figure, I'm going to improve the articulation, I'm going to take care of those few issues that I already mentioned, such as the flexible chest plates to make it, you know, easier to connect the backpack and the extended hoses so that he has the articulation and they're connected. You know, it's a it's a base it's a base Boba Fett. Unfortunately, it's it's an incomplete figure. It's a uh, it's it's a base figure. Honestly, it doesn't feel like a. a a final product to me it really doesn't it feels like it needs more attention you know you need to you need to put effort into this figure to actually uh make it shine properly um i always take the pictures after i do the review so you'll see the ones i'm able to pull off right here in a minute um the articulation is not bad it has that going for it it's got good articulation um well, i'm gonna say it's got decent articulation it's not the best it's not the worst um but it, it does pretty good. It's a nice it's a nice uh, uh, costume for you know Boba Fett. I like the character design of this Boba Fett. I really do. I just wish you know Hasbro's uh, execution was a little bit better. Unfortunately, they did kind of drop the ball with this release. But I'm pretty sure they'll fix it later on down the line. And hopefully they stop with this really basic um, you know deluxe release because this this is not a deluxe release. I'll say that right now. Um, if you disagree with me, let me know why in the comment section below, but it really does not, it does not feel like a deluxe. I mean, I've shown other Boba Fett figures that are a little bit more justified to call themselves deluxe. This one, it shouldn't be, but, uh, yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Let me know if you guys picked one up. Let me know if you've had these problems with yours, or maybe I just got really unlucky with the one I found. I mean... I did find it for a clearance price, and it was, it was brand new, it wasn't returned or anything like that, so it's not like it was an open box or something, so I just, I was able to track one down for a cheap price, and, you know, I just didn't get lucky with that aspect, it came out with uh, some weird issues, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, that's Mark70, catch you guys later.